Hello, welcome back to another video for Science Fair Ideas. The first one, a battery that makes sense. This is a beginner project. It's very easy and it is very short, less than one day. To do this project, you will need an adult to help you use a multimeter. I'm gonna put it in the description under the video. Materials are readily available. Its cost is very low, under $20. Safety, there is no issues. Batteries are expensive, but you can make one for exactly 24 cents. In this experiment, you will make your own voltaic pile using pennies and nickels. How many coins in the pile will make the most electricity? In this experiment, you will make a simple battery out of coins and test if the number of coins in the pile will affect the amount of electricity produced. Next project is how does a wind meter work? Its difficulty level is beginner and time required is very short, less than one day. Prerequisites, there is nothing. Material availability is readily available. Its cost is about $20 and safety, there is none. On a windy day, it is hard to keep your head on. The power of the wind can even be strong enough to power large wind turbines to make electricity. In this experiment, find out how you can make your own instrument to measure the speed and power of the wind. How does it work? In this experiment, you will investigate how the speed of the wind is measured by an anemometer. Next experiment, the third one is what makes the rings of Saturn. Difficulty level is beginner. Time required is very short, less than one day. Prerequisites, none. Material availability, material availability. You need to ask your parent permission first before using their recorder for this experiment. It cost is about $20. Safety, there is none. Saturn is a unique planet because of the many beautiful rings surrounding it. How are all of those rings made? Why is each ring unique? In this experiment, you will investigate how different types of particles can become unique rings of Saturn. The next one is building the tallest tower. Difficulty level is beginner. Time required is very short, two to five days. Material availability, it's readily available. Costs is about between $20 and $50. Safety, there is none. Skyscrapers are impressive structures. What does it take to design a building so tall? Engineers use strong materials and innovative design to push the limits of gravity. They use special tables to simulate earthquakes and test models of their buildings. In this project, you will build your own earthquake table and see how tall you can make a tower out of Lego bricks. You can even measure how hard your earthquake table shakes using a smartphone and Google Science Journal app. In this experiment, you will make a shake table to test if the height of a building will affect its stability. Next experiment is CD burning. Take it to the edge. Difficulty level is beginner. Time required is very short, less than one day. Material availability, it's readily available. Cost is very low under $20 there is no safety issue did you know that you can tell how much information is on a CDR without even using a computer find out how in this reflective experiment in this experiment you will investigate the relationship between the amount of information stored on a CDR disk and the size of the burn by measuring with a ruler the next experiment is wobbling robot. Difficulty level is beginner medium. Time required very short, less than one day. Material availability. You can buy this kit from Home Science Tools. Cost about between $20 and $50. For safety, adult supervision is required when using a hobby knife. Do you like drawing or painting? What if you could build a robot that creates its own art? In this project, you will create your own art bot. A robot with markers for legs that wobbles across a piece of paper, creating drawings as it moves. You can then customize your robot to change how it draws. This is a beginner level project with no robotics experience necessary. 
So if you want to try building your own robot, this is a great place to start. Build an art bot and investigate how changing the robot's design affects how it draws. Next experiment is how does a hovercraft work. Difficulty level is beginner easy, time required is very short, less than one day. Material availability readily available. It costs is very low, under $20. Safety, if using epoxy, adult assistance is required. Use caution and follow all the instructions and safety warnings on the packaging. Have you ever ridden on a hovercraft? It's like a gliding on a cushion of air. In this science project, you will make your own mini hovercraft using a CD or DVD and a balloon and investigate how the amount of air in the balloon affects how long the hovercraft hovers. Investigate how different amounts of air in the hovercraft's balloon affect how long the hovercraft can hover. Next one is do-it-yourself DNA. Its difficulty level is beginner, medium, time required is very short, less than one day. Material availability is readily available. Cost is very low, under $20. Safety, no shoes. All living things have DNA inside their cells. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. How do scientists extract the DNA from cells in order to study it? In this experiment, you can make your own DNA extraction kit from household chemicals and use it to extract DNA from strawberries. Design a DNA extraction kit and use it to purify DNA from strawberries. Let's see next experiment. Rock on recording digital data with magnets. Difficulty level is beginner. It's a hard project. Time required is very short, less than one day. Material available team, a large number of specialty magnets are needed for this project. It costs about between $20 and $50. There are no safety issues. This is a straightforward project that shows you how data can be digitized and stored on a magnetic recording media. You will learn how alphanumeric characters are digitized and you will use bar magnets to represent the individual data bits. You will also learn about how much information can be stored in a small space, recording density, and how magnetic data can be erased. The goal of this project is to determine the maximum recording density for storing digitized information using a grid of bar magnets. You will learn about how information is digitized and how the digitized information is stored magnetically. The project helps you understand the limitations on information density recorded on magnetic materials. The next one and is the last one. Tent project is how does a chick breathe inside its shell? Difficulty level is beginner, it's easy. Time required is short two to five days. Material availability, it's readily available. Then the cost is very low, under $20. Safety, thoroughly clean any surface the raw eggs touched because they can carry salmonella. Have you ever wondered how a chick breathes inside its shell? Every animal needs oxygen to survive, so the chick must get air somehow. Try this science project to discover the answer. Determine if the pores in a chicken egg shell allow water to enter by soaking raw eggs in dye. There are so many great experiments and science fair ideas in sciencebodies.com. If you have any question about the experiments, please uh, make a comment under the video. I'm gonna put the links and descriptions under the video in the description. Uh, you can just click on them and it's gonna take you over there. I hope you like it. See you next video.